I am Sandia from FPE Automation, and I have joining me today, Tyler from Flexbotics. Hi, Tyler. Hey, how's it going, Sandia? Thanks for having us. Good. I'm, I'm glad you're here. Um, I'm going to keep it short today, but I just have a few questions to ask you because in your space, you are, Flexbotics is making great strides, and uh, we over at FPE have been very impressed with what's going on over there. So wanted to talk to you today a little bit about like CNC and things like that. Um, do you have time to answer a few questions for me? Yeah, let's get into it. Awesome. Okay. Well, my first question is how should machine shops look at digitally transforming in 2023? Yeah, so I think that's a, uh, a great question. So I think when we look at a lot of different CNC shops, they're at different phases within their digital transformation. So some are right at the beginning, uh, you know, some haven't started and some are a little bit farther along where they have maybe a fully, you know, automated type of uh, CNC machine shop set up. So I think what you have to look at is the different areas that you want to digitally transform and more importantly, what are the business outcomes that you want from digitally transforming? So for an example, one thing is, you know, you don't have a enough labor or where you want to increase capacity on your CNC machines. Um, or increased quality, um, one of the digital transformation steps you can take is by going in and looking to be able to, uh, to automate that. But there's other things like within your processes that like if you're using a lot of paper within, uh, within your process, how can you look to be able to eliminate that paper and maybe eliminate the transportation waste that comes with delivering that paper from your back office to the, the floor itself. So um, there's multiple ways that you can go about digitally transforming and in and, and a lot of ways it's, it's about finding the areas that you want to focus on first based on the business outcomes that you want to receive. Gotcha. Okay, well that makes me wonder, um, why should a machine shop, you say owner, invest in CNC automation specifically? Yeah, uh, another great question. And it kind of leads back to like, okay, what are the business outcomes that you would want? And in most cases, the business outcomes that, that you're going to want to get as a machine shop owner is, and they're both kind of coincide with each other, it's utilization and capacity on your CNC machine. You want your CNC machine running at all times. We all know labor shortages are an issue that CNC shops and all manufacturing are dealing with. So getting enough labor to be able to actually have the utilization uh, that you've been having before with full labor capacity uh, has been difficult for machine shop owners. So being able to go ahead and automate that allows you to be able to increase that utilization. What automation allows you to do even further though, is you can actually increase the capacity that you have of your machine. Say you're running two shifts, two eight hour shifts, shift one, shift two. Now with putting in automation, you can actually run a third shift and increase your capacity by essentially 50%. So this allows you to be able to kind of increase your top line uh, take on new customers uh, and ensure that your machines are running constantly and running more than they were in the past. That's awesome. Uh, so tell me a little bit about Flex CNC. What is that? Yeah, so um, if you're looking to go down the path of automating your, your CNC, you're probably going to look at some different options for the robotic arms. Uh, in a lot of cases, collaborative robots are a great fit for uh, automating a, a CNC machine. So what we've developed over here at Flexbotics is essentially, well, you have a robot, you have a CNC, how do you have them be able to communicate with each other? So we've created a standardized interface um, essentially between the robot and the CNC. It's a set of hardware and software that sits between and allows you to be able to communicate easily from the robot to the CNC. And what's nice about this is that it, it's a library uh, of CNCs that you can interface to. So you can use this with a collaborative robot, universal robot, with a wide variety of different CNCs, Mazak, Vanek, Haas, Akuma, Brothers, you name it, we have it within our library and you can actually be able to interface with that. And so it allows you to easily interface in under four hours that, that you are to that CNC machine. And then also be able to connect all types of other peripheral control like auto doors, uh, auto vices, uh, chucks, and, and various um, you know peripherals that sit within the CNC, so makes for uh, for a much better experience when when interfacing a uh, a universal robot to a, a CNC machine. That it would, yeah. So if you were a machine shop, what would be the benefits of using it? Yeah, so uh, two things. Um, the first is kind of simple. It's a more efficient integration. So you're going to be able to, uh, if you want to take more ownership of the integration process, you can be able to do that. 
Uh, but if you want to make sure that your integration process in general, whether you use a third party or not, is going to go as quickly as possible, this helps make a much more efficient integration. Like I said, four hours or less, you're able to now interface your robot to that CNC. The second thing it does is it actually helps you standardize, standardize your operations of your CNC machines, because now you're using essentially the universal robot teach pendant as your user interface for you to be able to essentially control all of your CNC machines now. So all of your personnel is essentially being trained on that user interface and building and executing programs on uh, the universal robot teach pendant, as opposed to having to uh, have different ways of being able to essentially control and, and interface with your CNC. So it really helps uh, you know, eliminate the tribal knowledge that happens where you have, say, one-off bespoke integrations of, to a CNC and understanding how, how does that work on that CNC. You know how, how it works because they operate in all the same fashion. Got it. Wow, that's really interesting. Well, Tyler, I want to thank you for spending a few minutes with me today. Um, I'm hoping that a lot of other people will benefit from listening to this. And um, thanks again. Yeah, no, thanks for having us, Sandia. And uh, thanks for being a great partner of Flexbotics as well.